So the question has been raised by Introvergio concerning uh, my certainty or the uh, certainty I, I seem to have when I make various assertions about infinity and uh, immortality and other things. And, you know, I, I don't know which is why I'm a philosopher, a lover of wisdom. But as a philosopher, I, I feel that I do know, or know that I do feel, or perhaps it's both, that philosophy has an end, and that that end isn't just loving wisdom, but being wise. And to be wise, you speak from experience, which is also to say you speak from the heart. You become your own authority. And you know, I think at, at my core, at my root, I'm a religious thinker, but because I'm also of a philosophical orientation, I'm not satisfied with um, doctrines, theological doctrines, given to me by others um, in which I must believe. Um, I'm not satisfied with beliefs or doctrines taken on the authority of others. I need to discover my own author, my own authentic voice. Uh, but at, uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm basically praying when I record videos. Which is to say that I'm trying to talk to God, and in talking to God, recognize our essential unity, though, you know, on the surface, it seems quite otherwise. Um, the thing is that the surface has, has depths that our uh, sensory based intellect cannot fathom and so we need speculative philosophy uh, we need metaphysics but the thing is we we shouldn't define metaphysics as constructing systems of ideas uh, without evidence experiential evidence no I think Metaphysics are um, still experiential. There's still a phenomenology of ideas. They they do have appearances, um, images and ideas, memories, representations. Um, these do perceive or are perceived because they do um, appear and. So metaphysics is, is simply a, a higher form of, of phenomenology, a higher study of appearances. And, well, essences are uh, what the appearances don't necessarily conceal. They, they conceal the essence until we recognize it, but um, the appearance expresses the essence, but we must be wise enough uh, to hear that expression. We must be calm enough in our soul, silent enough to listen. Otherwise, we see mere appearance and appear to be cut off from an immediate connection to the eternal to the true, the good, the beautiful, and to the infinite.
And you know, I would say that the first uh, evidential proof of our own infinity is the fact that we seem to know, or at least think, that we are finite. We feel limited. We're anxious because we will die one day. Everyone we love will die one day. The sun is eventually going to swallow the earth. And so, in that recognition of our limits, aren't we also uh, having a sort of intimation of the of the infinite, of that which encompasses the boundary which we've drawn around ourselves. To call ourselves finite, we've already um, created the infinite, the context to the text. Um, the emptiness that surrounds the, the being of our world. So if we're going to talk of a world at all, or if we're going to talk of matter at all, then we've also already uh, implicated heaven or um, spirit to talk of the imminent is already to have implicitly mentioned uh, the transcendent. And so we experience the finite no less than the infinite. It's just a matter of, of gaining the sort of speech required to participate in it. Because sometimes speech fails. Sometimes these physical fleshly organs cannot articulate the ideas in our minds. And that's just as real as, as the eloquence we're sometimes able to discover. So we're, we're beings that exist in contradiction, certainly, but um, I'm forced because of, again, the religiosity that lies at the core of my own existence, I'm forced to pray for, and that also means to think about and to speak about, a final unity to this apparent contradiction. Um, I think that the one proceed to become many, and then the many return to the one. And that many are no less one and in fact for the one to be what it is there must also be many just as for the finite there must be the infinite so you know maybe this is uh seems silly but maybe you have the experiential reference for the words that I'm using, maybe what I have tried to signify has been properly signified 